All right, get ready for a serious knife fight. Your favorite after hours cooking competition is back for season three. I'm talking about the top chefs of knife fight and leading this gritty cooking experience is innovative restaurant owner and winner of the second season of Top Chef, Ilan Hall. Good morning, Ilan. Great to have you on the Thanks show. Thanks for having me, Stephanie. So it, it appears stakes for bragging rights have never been higher like they are on this new season of Knife Fight. What can we expect? Um, I mean, we've changed it up a little bit. We have a tournament. So we start out with 16 chefs, and at the end, there's just one left standing. One left standing at the end. Okay, so I guess run through the competition of, of the new season. How is, how is it really different this time? Um, in general, this, this season or just? Yeah, th this or season. Or just as an entire? This season, I mean, we, the fights are the same. I mean, we, we get really great ingredients, things that are a little bit um, left of center, and we get incredible chefs, and we just have them compete. And the only difference is that at the end, there is, there is one. So we have chefs that come back to, um, to compete after they've won their first challenge or their second challenge or their third challenge. And man, you do have some incredible chefs. Where is the search? Where do you find these people? This um, it's a combination challenge. of things. It's, uh, you know, a lot of them are friends of mine. A lot of them are people I know, people I'm big fans of. Um, you know, there are, a lot of, there are a lot of chefs that I've reached out to. So it's really those and the ingredients, the chefs that we choose and the ingredients, I try and pick as much as possible. Yeah, and I also heard somewhere along the line there are some mystery ingredients that come in. Uh, what are the mystery ingredients? How, do, how does well, that yeah, play that, into the Well, yeah, that's shop? how um, that's how you know we choose. I choose ingredients, and what happens is the chefs come out. They don't know what they're cooking before, and then I reveal them right before the ch the challenge, and then they have to cook them. So there's no planning. There's no uh, there's no pre gaming. Okay, exciting, exciting. So ultimately, the chefs, they, they move on and they get these difficult ingredients and tougher opponents until it gets down to yeah. a, a couple of challengers and then they go head to head and what is it, an hour? Or do they, they make a dish in an hour or two? It's kind of crazy how no, fast No, three, they do in, it. The, in the finale, we give them an hour and a half and they have to make at least three dishes. Three dishes in an hour, man, an hour and a half. Okay. Knife fight is yeah. really kind of a fight for the, the culinary glory. Any favorite dishes that you, you've come along? Because, I mean, it's incredible how they come wow. up with these different uh, uh, things. Yeah, there were, some, there were some crazy dishes. There was a, a braised turtle dish that I had um, that was delicious. There's, a, I mean, I have, I, have them, I have a giant list of all of them. Um, there was a beautiful fish dish made by Daniel Holzman from the meatball shop. Um, it was a, just a, a very simple fish with, with uh, cranberry beans. It was gorgeous. Uh, there's, I mean, there's endless. Ceviches made by Miguel Aguilar. Uh, a, a tom yum soup made from Dale Talde. I mean, there were really, really special dishes this season. Well, I know it's such a popular show, and we can't wait to see the competition heat up in the kitchen. And I know it just premiered uh, recently, but tell us when and where we can tune in and uh, continue to watch the knife fight, because we haven't missed much yet. You can watch Knife Fight Tuesdays at 10 p.m. on the Esquire Network. All right, we can't wait. Thank you so much for giving us the inside scoop. We look forward Thank you. to it. We're going to have more on this segment posted online. All you got to do is go to fox4morningblend.com. And up next, walk the beach and poolside in confidence. How Swan Centers can help after the break.